Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Mining Mars episode 27. Today we're going to be talking about fake Sony and Murata 18650s. I've tested 10 different models. They're up on the screen now. All of them have probably been faked, but the most common ones now, the fakes, are based on the VTC4, VTC5A, and VTC5D. In this video, I'm going to review what genuine VTCs must look like and show some examples of some of the fakes that we've come across. This will not be a series of foolproof ways to detect every fake that's out there. New fakes are being created all the time, and these scumbags are getting better better at creating these fakes. But this video will help you detect a lot of them. As always, our best defense against a fake, whenever possible, is to buy only from known, trusted sources. And I have a list of several, links to several, down in the description section below. For a VTC battery to be genuine, it must have the letters and numbers printed only on the metal can, not on the wrap. The QR box code, the dots that you see in a square, must be printed only on the plastic wrap, not on the metal can. And there must be two dimples on top of the battery that are located underneath the top insulating ring. Don't go taking off the wrap and ring unless you're sure you can do that carefully. Now, fakes can have these too. There are fakes with dimples. There are fakes that might be printed that certain way. But those things that I just listed must be present on, uh, for a VTC battery to be genuine. Here's some ways to detect fake VTCs. If the printing is on the green wrap on the outside or on a second wrap, like in this example, a translucent wrap underneath the green one, then it's a fake. The printing must be on the metal can. I mentioned this earlier, but I want to cover it again. The QR code box is shown up on the screen here, must be printed on the green plastic wrap. If it's on the metal can itself, then that battery is a fake. Now the codes for genuine VTCs, the QR code boxes, can be light, dark, they can be smeared, they can be almost solid. There's a variety of printing quality, for lack of a better word. That can't be used as an indicator of authenticity, whether it's uh, fake or not. Just the only thing we can tell for sure is if it's on, it's printed on the green wrap, it could be genuine. If it's not printed on the green wrap, then it's definitely fake. Every genuine VTC 18650 battery must have the two dimples that you see up on screen circled in red on top of the battery. They're located underneath the top insulating ring. Now, just because there are two dimples on your battery, that does not mean you have the VTC you thought you have. Uh, they have faked VTC 5As and 5Ds by using VTC 5s. Someone takes off the wrap, they see two dimples, the capacity tests about the same, and they think they have the same battery but they don't, they have a fake. If the two dimples aren't on top of the battery, then it is definitely a fake VTC though. The exception to this, the, well, I'm only talking 18650s, the 21700 VTC 6A does not have dimples. So if the 18650s, no dimples equals fake. I see a lot of people trying to authenticate their VTC batteries or what's supposed to be a VTC by using the quality or shape or style of printing on the metal can. You cannot do this. As you can see in the image here, there's a lot of different types of printing, uh, quality of the printing, the different fonts that are used. It's not a reliable way to detect whether the battery is a genuine VTC or not. Let's look at some examples of fake VTC batteries. These are fake VTC4s. The printing is on the outside of the green wrap, not on the metal can. And on the right hand image, you can see that the top contact has four, quote, legs coming down from it, not three. All VTCs must have the printing on the metal can and must have only three legs coming down from the top contact. This one gets a bit more complex because the fake has two dimples. Uh, this is uh, fake VTC5s, but genuine VTC5s have four radial lines on the venting disc underneath the top contact, and it's uh, pointing to that in the image. And the genuine VTC5s do not have the two small micro weld lines that are present at the top of the fakes. Uh, the rest of the details I'll leave you can read uh, in the image above. 
these fake VTC5As are probably the same cell as used for the fake VTC5s. Uh, and the difference is, again, that has the two dimples, so that can confuse some people. But genuine VTC5As do not have the two microweld lines that the fakes have, and there's a difference in the venting disc, the button or nipple in the middle of the venting disc underneath the top contact. The genuine VTC5A has sort of a, a button or nipple in the middle of the venting disc in the, underneath the top contact, whereas the fake has just a smooth portion in the middle of the venting disc underneath the top contact. Both of these examples of the fakes, the VTC5 and VTC5A, were very crappy batteries. Maybe they were 5 amp batteries or something like that. They should not be used for anything. This last example was just recently spotted uh, in South Korea. And it's a doozy. I've never seen something like this done before. As you can see, the image is above. It's actually double wrapped. They don't print on the outer green wrap. They have a second translucent wrap underneath it that the printing is on. So they don't print on the metal can. They print on this second translucent wrap, then overwrap it with translucent green. And that way they don't have to go through the expense of getting different equipment to print on the metal can. They can just order more I don't know, one penny wraps and double wrap the battery instead. Uh, this battery does not have the dimples on top. I don't know how it tests, but it's definitely not a VTC. Okay, let's go over a little checklist. A genuine VTC battery, 18650, must have only three legs, quote unquote, coming down from the top contact with three prongs. If it has four or five, it's a fake. The letters and numbers printed on the battery must be on the metal can, not on the plastic wrap. The QR code box, the dots that are in the square shape, must be printed on the wrap. If it's printed on the can, it's a fake. All VTC 18650s must have two dimples on the top. Uh, some fakes are VTCs and will have the dimples, but are not the ones you wanted. There are other ways, uh, examples I have for the VTC5 and VTC5A. You can use other methods to try to sort out if it's genuine or not genuine. The quality of the printing on the wrap cannot be used as a reliable way to detect fakes. There's too much variation between the factories, bet over time, between assembly lines. Unless it's unbelievably bad, don't worry about the printing. Capacity testing also can't be used as a reliable way to detect fakes, especially capacity testing at like half an amp or something like that. The fakes have the same capacity rating often than the genuine cells. That's what makes them good fakes. They know how easy it is to test capacity, so they look for cells with the same ones. But these fake cells have very low current ratings, often under 5 amps, or it might be higher than that, but they're incredibly poor performers. In order to use capacity testing to find a fake, you need to discharge it like 5 amps or 10 amps. Now you're starting to bring performance on top of capacity into your testing. But that's a lot tougher to do, and often just using physical appearance is a lot easier. If you are unsure, if your battery is a fake or not, you're not able to confirm uh, by using any visual checks or testing checks, do not use it. This is your safety we're talking about. Just contact the vendor you bought it from, discuss the situation with them, see what you can do. Next, buy only from known, trusted sources that are used by many other people. It's, never buy a battery just because the price is low. These things last a couple of years and it, it just doesn't matter over that amount of time if you pay a little bit more from one from the other. Peace of mind is a lot better to have, not to worry whether you have fakes or not. The description section of this video, I have links to several popular vendors that you can use. VTC series batteries are great performers and they're very popular cells for a lot of different communities, but there are a lot of fakes out there. I've tried to cover a few ways that you can check for fakes, but if you're ever unsure, if you're ever worried about your battery, just don't use it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.